Hello and welcome back to Falcon Blues TV. And um, so today, Big Dunk, Duncan Ferguson, the new what should we call him, interim manager, caretaker manager, I suppose. He's done his first press conference. See, now I was in work at the time, but I seen some shouts, some people on Twitter saying, Oh, I don't know, he looks a bit nervous though. I watched it before, I, I thought he'd come across really well. Uh, considering it's his first time doing it. Um yeah, he come across quite jo jovial as well. More charismatic than most Premier League managers as well. I thought he answered the questions well. The ones that he couldn't couldn't answer, he, he sort of someone would have drilled him from the PR team beforehand as well. But it was nice to hear that he he, he said the right things for me. We're gonna cover every blade of the grass, we're gonna win balls. I think that's something we've been lacking lately. It's not just winning balls. We're always second best and winning second balls as well. It just seems to other teams want it more. Um he talked about some injuries as well, obviously the long term ones that have Delphs out. Uh Yeri Mina, he said there's a doubt, but he trained this morning. Um I, I I'm strangely feeling quite positive about tomorrow now. Um I was supposed to be working as well, and uh, I'm not now I'm working next weekend, well next Saturday, so I'm quite pleased I get to go for the uh, his first game really, seeing that he was talking about his kids, got season tickets to the Gladys Street. His brother in law is John Parrott as well, and he'll be watching. He said he was obviously a mix of emotions, nervous, excited. Um, he seemed very proud. So he knows the club as well, which is something that I like. I think he, everyone likes Duncan Ferguson, don't he? You know what I mean? And obviously, he's quite. He even said he's realistic that he knows this is just an interim thing. Um, it's it's also been quoted that Marcel Brands, there've been a hundred people applying for the Everton job, a hundred managers. Now, don't get me wrong, look. I mean, if I got that list, Jay made a good shout where we should just probably put them all in a, a bowl and just pick one out at random. It might come off better. I will say this, though. If Alan Pardew is one of them, we need to take that out immediately and just rip it up. I was listening to Talk Sport before I went to work this morning. With the Alan Brazil show with our Dali McCoy star, Harry Wednap, because he just do literally do anything for money. And uh, someone phoned up. I, I'm pretty certain it was a, it was a cop out because he said, I, I think we should go for Alan Pardew. And then, like... Obviously, Ali McCoyston and Harry Redknapp will know it be in his circles. They didn't want to say so. He, Harry Redknapp said, yeah, I, I haven't seen Alan for a while. I haven't uh, seen him getting quoted for many jobs. But sometimes, it's, the longer you leave it, it's harder to get back, back into it. And then Alan Brazil said he'd seen him six weeks ago having a glass of wine. And he was going to run over and say hello, but he didn't. But I mean, me personally, I quite enjoy Alan Brazil's show, although I'm still waiting for him to explode. Because every time I see a picture of him, he just looks ready to burst. Um, and I love it when he goes on a rant though, and it seems him and Ray Parler like having a few few drinky, drinky binkies, shall we say? But the, it it's odd. It seems like the the favourites keep changing. There's this fella yesterday saying it was Vitor Pereira. Uh, what a name Vitor is, by the way. Wow. But ah, his record doesn't look amazing. He's I think he's won the league in Greece, Portugal. Now he's at the, in the Chinese Super Duper League, and an absolute fortunes. I, my brother sent me a link to his one of his prefer, press conferences where he just started kicking off. And I'll be honest, I see that. I went, yeah, I'll have some of that. But <laughs> who, who knows? Obviously, you'd like to think they're going to pick the right right person for the job. Um, but it's nice to see that there is a lot more interest than what people were first saying. Uh, there's rumours that we've approached Pochettino. But there's also rumours saying that he's got his eye on the United job. Not even the Arsenal job, because... <coughs> I mean, if you're Pochettino, why would you want to go to Arsenal? Because you've just been managing Spurs. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's a good kick on the teeth to Spurs, but he's also got to live in North London as well. You know what I mean? It'd be like a Nicky Barnby situation. You know, you'd, you'd tarnish yourself forever. Then. And I think most Spurs fans, realistically, would think about Pochettino in good terms. He's done a great job for them. But, I mean, who knows? You know, what's good, though, is I think David Moyes is starting to sweat. You know, he's probably been thinking, yeah, this is all lined up for me. Probably more than watching Sky Sports News, but seeing the consensus of fans, and especially on Grand Old Teams forums and votes, not many won Moyes. And I think I said this yesterday, I'd be concerned that if, if it was Moyes, maybe the first month or two, if he got decent results, it'd be all right. But I could see it turning into a, a Sam Allardyce situation where it just becomes toxic and dour and... Ah, who knows? But... Who do you want to be the next Everton manager, permanent manager? Let us know in the comments. Don't forget to press, press uh, subscribe. I normally like to say that at the beginning, but I forgot. I'm going to have to leave a note saying subscribe on the back of me. I don't know. I'm working out. But yeah, if you're new to the channel, press subscribe. 
click that bell because you get notifications for when we go live and when you know what I, i've got to be honest i've got to apologize to the viewers here because i've got a backlog for of pricks to go on the list and i've not forgot any of them and the next one going on i'll give you some hints it is another referee he's retired though he's bald i think i gave a hint last time didn't i jade a few weeks ago that you could refer to him as a cleaner now, if anyone, it's hard. That's, that's bad, that though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll give another clue. He was on the front of Pro Evo in the mid early 2000s. Now, if you Google that, there's only one referee who's ever been on it. That guy, yeah, he's coming soon. Um, score predictions tomorrow. I, don't, I think it's going to be a tough game as well. I, I, think the, I hope the players are up for it, the fans will be up for it. I'm going for a KG 2-1 win to Everton. That's right, I'm not sitting on the fence with some of my relatives. So you always sit on the fence and say a draw. I'm going for a 2-1 win for Everton. Fingers crossed. But um, until next time. Oh yeah, keep keep bollocking John Aldridge as well. That pigeon swat prick. Just like, like doing some old school bullying, what we'll call to him. Um, but yeah, up the fucking toffees. Colin Chong. <laughs>